everything we were going for, they were so on board. Oh, yes. they were like absolutely on board with us. At first, though, I, at, at first, first though, yeah, <laughs> yeah. At first, though, I did not feel like they were connecting with it at all. But then, when you were like chicken fingers, please, we had them. We had them. It was game over. Oh, but F, do you guys think that they noticed when I messed up that devil worship part? You know what, though? You know what? They didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Yeah, the way you messed up made sense for your character, actually. Totally, totally. Yeah. <laughs> do you think they understood what was going on with me and my thing? They were completely on board with what you had going on. Yeah. Really? Because I just, I wasn't hearing any laughs, like any. No, it was funny. It was just such a weird crowd. Oh my God, it was such a weird crowd. Also, it's been raining. Just because it's, it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, it was funny, but it wasn't like ha 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 funny. It was more like silently funny, you know what I mean? Okay, so it was like more of a thinker. Yeah, and it actually made a lot more sense for the tone we were going for. But oh my God, when the tech messed up, did you see me just going like? Oh my God, no, totally, totally. And then I locked eyes with you and I was just like, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But do you think the audience noticed? Are you kidding me? No way. The audience was none the wiser. They had no clue. Yeah, and it actually made more sense that you guys were waiting for tech, for the scene. But you guys, did I see Lacey Schwimmer in the audience from Dancing from the Stars? Like, am I crazy? Did I see her? Might have been. Might have been. Wait, Lacey Schwimmer. Is that David Schwimmer's cousin? No, no. Looked it up before the show. There's no relation. <laughs> Hey, do you think it was weird when I stopped speaking for like eight whole minutes? It felt like eight seconds, honestly. I mean, the audience couldn't have noticed that dead silence less. No, they definitely didn't notice it. But they had to have noticed when I messed up my monologue and didn't catch the cream that you tossed me. But that was hilarious. That read for comedy. Like, honestly, that was best case scenario. Honestly, for like a Wednesday afternoon, it totally worked. I'm just glad that the harness held you this time. <laughs> Hey, Cami, do you think that they noticed that when you had that big musical number and the tech was playing your opening cue, but you weren't picking up your part, and so he just kept looping the beginning over and over and over again, and then we were like, uh, maybe we'll start your part, but we didn't know your part because it was your part, not our part. And so then at a certain point, we were just standing there and we just looked at the tech and we said, Cut the trap! And then we all just silently walked off stage. Do you think anybody noticed? No. No, nobody noticed. And honestly, if we messed up, it was the director's fault. Honestly, yeah, we are never using her again. Yeah, I think we all can agree she was a disaster, okay? So, all right, gang. Ready to go back out there? Ready to go back out there? Ready to go back out there? Intermission is now over. Please put your hands together for act two of Broccoli and Pizza on my pizza.